mate. What'd you think? Oh, you wanna get it? I wanna get it. You saw the birds there. Uh, hey, we're gonna get it. We're gonna have to stay. Just saying. You eat first, you last. I feel like, uh, I mean, we'll be first time. Hobo to boat ramp, huh? Boat ramp hobos. Yeah, we need to get that haul. All right, well, let's, we're gonna set up camp. All right, cut so. that. We'll roll around that other side, set up over there. You know, when we can get the boat in. Yeah. Run the hole from that direction. Be a little walk, but it'll be okay. Ooh. Gonna sleep good tonight, ain't you? Yep. Sleep like a baby. Ain't gonna worry about. How you ain't first in the <laughs> That's all I can tell you. It's, it'll be worth it. Let's go. All right. You know the snack king always gonna have some. Hey, I get the Hershey's. I get the Hershey's, all right? All right. All right. You can have the, there's some Reese's. Payday off in that thing. Snicker. Look here. Mr. Goodbar. And there's your payday. Everybody loves payday. Get what you want. Hey, hey, on a serious note though, don't don't get used to that. Oh, uh, you're dying. I've been I've been roughing it all these years at the boat ramp. You've been out there Cadillacing it. Hey, it's hard work holding them holes out. Hey, 4 a.m. Hey, don't be late. Look, we were, we were somewhere right in here, remember? Yeah. And we're gonna move up probably about 70 yards over that way, 80 to 90. I'm gonna run about a dozen decoys today. It's such a tight hole right here. I don't know if you. <clears throat> so, what I'm gonna try to do is create more of the decoys on the back side and up the sides and give them that whole thing to land. Because uh, they're gonna try to come in off these short trees with the wind and come in. And I'm gonna let them pitch in here. So, I'm gonna set the decoys up back here and up the sides and let them have this whole hole here. But I'm gonna give them maybe like one or two up there, something to look at. But when they swing around, they'll be able to see these decoys come back in over the top, and hopefully they land right out here. And give, them, give them something to set one or two out here with their eyeballs on. So that's what we're going to try to do. Whether it works or not, I don't know, because like I switch decoys up three or four times a day. The first group don't like it, the second group don't like it, usually your third group's not going to like it. So I'll keep flipping around just a little bit, playing with them until like yesterday, uh, they started working in a little better. So. 
That's what we're going to try to do. I had a little motion to the ocean. A little bit too still. See some ducks try to come in and sit, but they picked up a little bit. I think everything maybe hopefully sitting a little too still. Got a little ripples in them water. Maybe make those ducks a little bit look a little bit more alive. Well, how did you make that happen? I added a jerk string to it. Oh, a little cool motion to deal. Yeah, old school. You know this right here. See there? Just getting a little bit out there. A little motion to the ocean. Tough. Well, hey, as you can tell, she was a little mad because I shot her boyfriend here. Hit the hardest one and then turn around and have this one swing right out. God dang. I shot so far behind him. You did? Yeah, probably about two feet and I don't know why. I couldn't get it. Dude, I was jacking with my gun. I got so nervous like a rookie. It was exciting. I was just Three drakes had come, it'd been different, but I waited. Waited all day. I mean we had six ducks before I shot a hand. <laughs> I feel better. Ooh. Big weight lifted off my chest. I mean, that's hard work all morning, not you know, laying off that brown. I like the ladies. I'm glad we slept out on that hole, boy. Hey, there's nothing better than double dipping on the same hole on public ground. How about that hen? I saw you looking at that hen. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it, dog. Uh, I couldn't help it. I laid off hens all morning. And hey, I shot that Drake, smacked him. Water swat, and she's sitting about three foot over just 
Oh, what just happened? What I felt bad for. Wow, had to. Oh, that's good. Let's get a picture. What hole you want to get? It's like we got our own choice this morning. Yeah. If I was going to set up anywhere based on what we heard from game warden and what we've seen from other hunters, we've been in the right place. And I got to figure with that front coming in tonight and tomorrow, there's going to be new birds in the area. And I knew as soon as you said it last night what you was going to say, and I knew I wasn't going to buy it. Day three, the same Don't ever doubt me again. I told you this morning I was with you. Oh, but you, he was doubting, no, wasn't he? Not Cody, you, tell the truth. He, didn't he was doubting, wasn't he? All day yesterday. Yeah. It's only 8 08. Hell, we finished quicker than we did yesterday. Ooh. Good job. Way to pick me up in a pinch. Hey, a few changes, modifications. Did a few changes in the jerk string. Uh, worked like a champ, did it not? Oh, I love this hole. I'm all in love right now. I don't want to leave. Well, you got to leave. You ain't got to go home. Hey, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here. biscuits are you going to eat? It's two biscuits. You take the biscuit, you separate it, you put gravy in it. You ever eat breakfast for them? I just put my gravy on top. You don't even eat a biscuit. So get off how I eat my biscuit. You won't even put a biscuit in your mouth. You'll be eating sprees here in about 38 seconds, probably sprinkled on top of a big old honey bun well, with your sweet it. tea. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm. Mm. Sorry, baby. Excuse me, I was going to say it, but it's been a great trip. Gotta go. We've been here three days. Everything been froze up. You finally find a bird just at the right time when the camera guy show up. <laughs> well, necessarily, that ain't all my fault. You know, we come over here handicapped. We ain't got no boat. Everything's froze up. All the ducks are on the river. It's kind of hard to find them, but. We did find them. 600 acre plot-ish, public, <coughs> think gonna be a ticket this evening? We wouldn't have known that was public, to be honest with you. Oh, hey. 
if it wasn't for on X. And so when we found that piece of property, it was public, and then we found out it's planted in corn. Public corn. Yeah. How many times do you use those two words the same sentence? Never. It's hard to believe that a state really owns a piece of property, and I guess they lease it back to the farmer, he plants it or whatever, but you're, you're allowed to hunt it. So at the beginning of the property, they use it for maintenance, road maintenance, and then behind it, they've planted it in corn. So I want to get over, get on the river, make sure they're still stacked up on the river, and then get over early enough in the field so we can go ahead and get everything laid out, brushed up. Should be a good hide in that stubble. Should be. It's a tall stubble, so we should, we should be able to hide pretty well. Got a gun? Got my gun. We got shells. How about your backpack? Back seat. Toilet paper? Oh yeah, it's in there. License? Wallet? Copy. Alright, I guess we good, huh? Yeah. So where are we eating at, for real? Are you serious? Yeah. We just ate. No, you ate. We got work to do, son. It's lunchtime anyway. You know, this is our annual duck vacation. We come up visit some friends on private, and you know, we're public at heart, and really want to take an opportunity to learn a little more about the public land here. And we've narrowed it down this area. Despite the warmer weather this week, all your smaller potholes have froze up. What we like to do is like we'll come to these areas, we'll watch them, we'll spend a day watching them in and out. So eventually these birds will get up and fly out. See those laying out over on the beach? See the swimming area? They're just laid out over like that, swimming. We'll watch these birds and they'll usually go in the same direction to a field. And So we'll get in the truck and we'll start heading those directions and eventually we'll pinpoint them. You want us to take your picture? Yeah, we'll get you in there. You guys are blessed, man. Yeah. Lots of dust. Way more days. Way more days than these guys do. Yeah. Hey, y'all's limits are bigger. Your season's longer. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's rough. Probably it's rough. We, it had, we had these guys flare some ducks. We had some guys behind us flare some ducks. We could have had a lot more. <laughs> we got them to market. Go out oh, and get yeah. it. It's a good boy. Y'all stay after him, brother. I can see them tractors. All right. 200 yards straight out from them tractors. And you don't think where he's at right now gonna mess with that? Now if he gets on this side and starts coming on this side and starts getting closer and closer, yeah. He ain't that far from that spot. He gonna have to work away and get away. That's what I mean, he's working the other side. What's up, man? Hi, brother. How goes it? It might not be a bad idea just to figure out exactly what his plan is. I would assume, you know, he, I mean, he ain't gonna work all that late, I would imagine. Where do you want the blinds laid across this ridge? We knew a guy who knew another guy, who may have knew another guy, got in touch with the guy, uh, Riley McLaughlin here. Oh, that's a lot of instruction for him. That's like three steps. We got the blind set up right there, so we'll, we'll come off, make a line towards this, towards that truck. Same thing that way. Give him plenty of room to come in here and land behind us. So we got a north wind, that's north, going this way, so hopefully we'll get him turned and we'll pitch right out here in front of us. Ain't very often you use the words where we're from, corn and public, in the same sentence. There's ducks right here on the left. 
Get him. Called that too late, didn't I? A little late. Yeah. I just saw it stop now. <laughs> Well, last night when they started about 345, yeah. they were flying back from the road to here. These are flying towards the road. Come on. And they're piling up again, ain't they? All I can see is this one fat, it almost pooped on my face. Look at them. I mean, it's just like a tornado over there. I'm coming back over here now. Lord, I can't call that. Thank you. 
Thank you, brother. Very welcome, brother. That was awesome. That was good time. I was just—I was hoping y'all wouldn't be mad at oh, me, but no. I just didn't want to do it, man. It, I, I guess I had been hanging around Billy buddy. too long, you know, <laughs> bird watching, I guess. But man, I just can't shoot into a big number like that. Uh, maybe I am kind of a bird watcher, <laughs> but for me, I mean, I'm only shoot seven of them. Yeah. So if I can get a couple thousand to sit at my feet like that and just watch, I mean, it's. It's incredible to me. Exactly. I mean, we're not out here just to kill them. We're out here for the yeah. whole experience, and that's an experience of a lifetime just to get to see something like that. It's hard to think when you got this many ducks on you, all around you. You know, love being here. Favorite place in the country to come, Disneyland. Pressure's on. All right. That was a hand, by the way, I think. All right, let's pack it up and get the heck out of here so we can come shoot again. <laughs> like talking about that journey all the time, you know? You get focused on limits, especially as much as we hunt as much as a lot of the public land hunters that I know that hunt, you know, every chance they get, whether it's before work or every weekend they got available, they they chasing them. If you overlook those few minutes you get to take in the stars, or the camaraderie and the friendships, the relationships you build, getting to the hole, hanging out in the hole, packing up and getting out. If you overlook all that other stuff and get focused on numbers and limits and killing, it goes by too fast. It goes by fast anyway, but you know, you just gotta stop, soak some of that stuff in, that journey. Just adds a lot of value to it, I feel like. I think a lot of people understand that. There's a lot that don't. No, no. And I'd encourage them to take more today. time to soak it in. But it's good stuff. That said, we're ready to kill some ducks.
sir. It's supposed to be co pilot. Wait, 15 hours straight. So, we're trying to get a little head start. You know, what time we open up? November 9th in Texas. We spent a lot of time on public. Cool thing I think about coming up here is, even though it's not really public, you know, obviously the land you're gonna be hunting up here is private. Anybody could, you know, take advantage of this opportunity. You know, speaking of the relationships, having a relationship with Ed, Ed's already done some like some breed scouting for us. So first thing in the morning, we're gonna be able to get after it. You look like some spaceship fixing land up there. That headlight you got, huh? Look like ET's our lights turned on or something. Knock it this year. You got so many lights. We headed to a field this morning. Uh, so we're gonna try to get on it few ducks out there so we're gonna see what happens didn't have a whole lot of time to scout so we're gonna to try to figure it out this morning and if it didn't work out so well we're gonna move around and see if we can't find a better group of birds no square body duck locker duck locker boy get you some of that you know what day it is it's Christmas almost almost he's had too much coffee this morning no more coffee for him so we rolled up we got oh uh Michael Sims, back down south. Gabe Spencer, accurate roofing and mobile crawl dads and, and uh, Kimber Creek Marketing and whatever other company he owns. What other company? What other company He's a jack of all trades and master of none. <laughs> I don't know about that. We drove up to meet with Ed, uh, Ed McDonough. Uh, he's, he lives up here and uh, been a big help for us finding birds the last few years. Give us kind of a head start. Oh, we got that other guy, that really ugly fellow with the big beard. What's that fellow's name? Oh, Dennis Loser. That's right. Dr. Duff. No, I'm They always forget about me. I mean, we didn't get much sleep. But half of that is not being able to sleep. Because we ready to go. Hey, put it in the cornrows, dig a I start here and you gotta go back down, but I can't get my truck to there. There's so much water. This right here is all that wet stuff down there. Yeah. There's another hole somewhere right in there. I think we need to set them blinds right here. Basically, what we're gonna try to do is set the decoys up here and kind of make a funnel this way. Hopefully, they'll circle around and try to land in this flat spot that we've done. Somebody told me it's supposed to rain Monday. They done come up, they didn't like it. Oh, they're looking for places to stay there. Number one or you gonna be in the same situation tomorrow you're in today if you don't put eyeballs on some of these spots. I wasn't trying to be a turd. We all about enjoying that journey, but I mean, I know unless you put eyeballs on it. Hey, you got a penny? No, I ain't gonna sit here and wait on no train to come either. There's four gavel coming in right now. Come back a couple hundred ducks. So you fired up about that? I know there's more green in there. I just asked a question. I hunt that hole right here, yeah. We'll probably get a three or four man out of it. You still ain't, ain't no answer my question. We ain't gonna get no six man out of it. That's my point. You ain't fired up about it. Well, if that was green down there, I probably would be. But I, I shoot a gad wall. That's, that's why I said we need to go find birds. Matter pure.
That's what I'm saying. You see a little group here and a little group there. Oh, that's so much water. Winds picked up 40, 35, 40 mile an hour. That front's coming in. Visibility getting tough. Birds sitting down. You know, that's something we learned. You know, sometimes you feel like you can work a little harder, control a situation, help yourself out to be successful. But sometimes, man, there ain't nothing you can do. Just keep driving, keep looking. Been running the roads and just ain't had much luck. And Dennis and Ed, man, ran into one this evening, it looks like. And uh, they got some guys maybe coming in later in the week. The old fella said, hey, y'all want to get on tonight? Get on it this evening. It's about 4 o'clock, I guess. And Man, the wind's kicking up. That front's getting here. And it looks like they're just pouring in. So we're going we're gonna to hit it, baby. Give it a shot. Might be scouting for town ducks. You know those ducks that hang out in the town. Bread eaters. Bread eaters. They're banded ducks. Oh, they green. Are you good? So starting right here on this tree line. See, this all used to be in city limits. Last year they switched the city limit road from from that road back there to this road up here. <laughs> Little people. Excuse me. I was talking about the little people. What? Why we gotta be talking about little people? Why are you so defensive over it? Yeah, <laughs> why are you so sensitive? Where did birds go, Eddie? They probably dropped down this back hole over here. Just keep going straight past this farm, please. There are a few mallards over there. See, what you can't see is a lot that's of the property line right there. What you can't see is the smaller holes that get back in here because they're all covered up by the cattails. That's where the ducks normally hit. Yeah, a lot of police out there. There's more coming in too. You can't shoot Canadians here right now. Stick and move. Stick and move. Bruce. Weather's yeah. weird. A lot of birds moving right now though. Man, I found, I bet. Seven, 700 teal. What are teal doing up here right now? I feel like cool weather, man. They don't want to be down there where it's hot. <laughs> oh, there we go. I love it. It's finally got, it's early, it's cold. We got a great wind. Camera guy's shaking out of his boots. It can't get any better than that. Yeah, so obviously, you know, it's it's good to have feet on the ground. Ed is a couple hours south of here, and uh, we've been looking for birds with Ed, and then uh, he's got a buddy, Chad, who we'll be hunting with today. Chad's a deputy sheriff here in the area, so they get out, and, and he's able to put some eyes on some stuff in this, this area, so, and uh, hope we see some green today. Pintails have been unreal this year. It just left. I can't yeah. believe how many pintails we've seen. I mean, we, we stay visible out in the county, so it's hard not to look out in the fields and see ducks flying, especially as a hunter. I mean, you, you, you're you always looking, so it, it there is some benefit to it for sure. Three and a half, number twos. Hey, why you shoot Black clap. 
Why you shoot three and a half? Because they don't make fours. <laughs> Gotta stay warm. It's cold. Well, we're gonna put them on the edges of the corn and then hopefully the ducks will pull them right in on top of us. We don't put them in the middle so the ducks have a place to land. We just try to, we want to make sure we follow them out solid on each side. He's been dead. Cause I'm not gonna shoot anything that way anyway. Look at that green coming in right there, Billy. Boom, right in the big oil. See it. See it. Four minutes is an eternity when you got ducks flying in. That's shoot time. Yeah. Kill Shoot him. Kill him. Here, Senator. Here, here, Senator. Kill him. Sit. Graveyard dead. Timber here. Hey, she's fine. Oh, she's not. She's not Been waiting on this day all year long. See it. Now right here for you. Temperature sure Drake right there. Starting to turn green. Kill. Ooh. You probably let that one sail too far. She lined it perfect. See? Billy got his hand.
<laughs> All right. We finally got a north wind, cooled things down, made these ducks get a little active. They gotta, they, uh, they gotta make a trip to the grocery store. So that's what we needed. The last couple of days, we just didn't have that luxury. So as you can tell, we're hunting in a big time grocery store. <laughs> Right here, he's coming back. Kill. Huh. That's, that's yeah. you, right? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Did everybody shoot that duck? Uh, yeah. Everybody loves the gun at that duck. Yeah, I always hey, shot. Hey, hey, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Hey, it's been an awesome day, especially for four guys from Texas to come up here up north and to get on the green this early. It's been awesome. I'm gonna pick up the decoys and get out of here and get back after them tomorrow. Yeah. Worked out just right. I got that feeling. I got that feeling. Well, you got that feeling because you got them real tree crocs on. Dude, let me tell y'all. <laughs> Practical. That's what that was about. I got a need to feed the fire burning in me and turn all the crazy on high. Crazy on high. Every chance I can. I think it's good. We just rode up into Arkansas last night. We didn't have, of course it was late. So we hunted this hole earlier this year. So uh, we didn't hit a home run in it, but we did okay. So we decided we just jumped back in, see what we could do, see what luck brings us. Pray for it.
Hey, Billy, he's just gonna come back to you. Gotta get more ducks, more opportunities. And uh, it could be a heck of a morning. So, just glad to be out here. We got these bonus days over here, so we're gonna use them up. Chase a few more birds. Just need a few more volleys. We'll be alright. We got one limit down. We should, we should have six or seven. Like a fine steak. I'm jealous, ain't you? See? I think Hunter been carrying these around in his pocket. They all broke. Well. Get you three of them. I got one. Hey, will you hold that? Good dog. Hunter, one, two, three. Actually, two gift. Yeah. Two for three, technically. One, uh, 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 please. Too bad it wasn't banded. Dude, where did they come from? I saw two right there coming around. That's when I said, hey, and then I, 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 went, I just looked to the right and all of a sudden they're like, My gun in my hand on that other yeah. bird. <laughs> it was nasty. Oh my! In the clouds too. In the clouds. <laughs> it's some hot fries, dog. Dude, all right, we gotta get more, more of those. It's all about the hot fries. Mm. Well. I guess our time limit is out. So we're, we got to get our decoys packed up. We're doing it probably just a little early. We're going to go check another set of woods before we officially have to be out of here. So we hadn't worked the birds in probably over about an hour, an hour and a half. So. 
try to figure out. There's a few more somewhere else. Like I said, we just got here last night. Did pretty well today. Uh, we got a few birds over there. Worked in nicely. And, uh, looking forward to doing this again tomorrow. This is a, actually a bonus week for us. To hunt four days extra. Because Texas is closed. So bonus birds. Same hole, is it? I thought it was right back there. I thought we went right there. I like this one. I oh. told you it wasn't the same. I don't remember that top brush. It's a little bit brushier, thicker. Explore, boy. Ain't yeah. bad getting get with thorns. Uh, I like Explore. Just should start before shooting time. I'm trying to think which way the wind blows. It's like not nah, blowing. Last day of bonus days. Our season closed last weekend. Slid over here to another state. There's a few states stayed open for an extra four or five days and Got to get all you can while you can get it. Be a long summer off, so. Got to admit, the trip over here hadn't been what we expected. We had a good first day, two man. But, uh, been a little tough. Weather's been poor. Poor conditions for trees, at least. Thought we'd get some sunshine today. That ain't happened. Had some folks close to Peter and out, tired, trying to find them, chase them. You know, somebody said, I saw a post on social media <coughs> last week said, if, uh, if you think duck hunting's a grind, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. And I figured that old fella probably ain't done much, as much public, cause we love the grind. The grind's part of what keeps us coming back, but, but public can definitely be a grind. There's a lot of people out there working really hard for birds, and I think that's what keeps all of us coming back. So, Birds are no birds today. It's the last day, and we on public, and we're gonna, we're gonna make the most out of enjoying that journey before we pack it up for the summer. If my last day ends right here, I'm good. We got to trick one on the last morning of bonus days, baby. Huh? I'll take it. Thankful for it. Ain't about the numbers. See, supposed to shoot them in the face.
for the year. Last time you get those decoys in the boat. Last time you get to blow a duck out. <laughs> Any tissue? <laughs> Oh, it's been a good one. We killed a lot of ducks. Had a great time this year. A lot of road miles, a lot of walk-in miles. Uh, had a good time chasing them. Met all kinds of great people. Um, something that we look forward to each and every year. We got to hunt with two guys. We just met a couple days ago on this hunt, and, and we got to do that a lot this year. So I'm looking forward to continuing that for, into the next season. I can't wait for it to get here. Well, it's fun sharing it too with everybody on with our real tree family. 365 so that was a that was a good new journey for us look forward to doing that again next year hoping everybody will come back and check it out yeah we'll start off again in october so we're just a few months away we'll be right back at it we already count down this the clock's already started <laughs> tick tock <sighs> crazy